Today, as part of a battle decades in the making, people living near a hazardous waste site demanded answers from government officials. WYFF News Force Mike McCormick is there live and local in Nashville for us tonight. Mike, what's the latest there? Well, Michael and Carol, the government says they are working to clean up this contaminated site, but in the meantime, people living around here tell us they are afraid to breathe. Sort of at a we're at an information deficit. This was their first chance to confront the Environmental Protection Agency face to face. But you don't know that there's not harm going on right this second, even to yourself as you stand here and breathe. These people live feet from a contaminated site, once used by a company called CTS, which shut down in the late 80s. We've been told for years uh, that we had nothing to worry about. But Friday, the EPA relocated three families because of toxic levels of a cancer causing chemical in the air. The folks that were evacuated and I could literally throw baseballs to one another from our back deck, and the government didn't even bother to come over here. Charles Thomas sent his kids to stay with family just in case. We're worried, um, you know, both from a health standpoint and what just happened to us financially. Um, with this news, uh, you know, property value has got to be devastated, if not totally worthless. Some say they weren't told about the contamination when they bought their property. There is a toxic plume, a giant pool of toxic chemicals about 30 feet below from where we're standing right now. Glenn Harecki is president of the EPA Community Advisory Group, which was suing the company that used the site. But today, the Supreme Court ruled that state law prevents lawsuits that come more than 10 years after a contamination. It's horrible uh, because, uh, you know, there's, there's wrongdoings here, and the wrongdoings should be punished. CTS, which is still in business elsewhere, did not respond to our request for a comment. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, live tonight, Nashville.